crafty friends. Thank you for joining me today. So it's Fun Fold Friday and we're at volume five. So for the past few weeks, I've been showing you fairly easy fun folds. And today I thought I'd step it up a little bit. So we're gonna be doing a double Z fold card, or it could also be called an, called an accordion fun fold card. So let's turn the camera down and we'll get started. So as you can see, this is the card that we'll be making. It actually kind of reminds me of a W fold, right? So it's probably got many names, accordion fold, double Z fold, but this is the basic concept of it. So let's get to work. So from my eight and a half by 11 sheet, I wanna cut this down to five and a half by 11. It's a little different than your basic card, um, A2 size card, although it will fit into an a2 size envelope, but it will be a bit bulky. So we cut that down. So we've got five and a half by 11. And then you're left with this strip here, which we're going to cut down to six inches. And that will be for this piece right here. So let's cut that. And now let's score. So we want to score the three by six inch piece on the long side at three inches. Make sure the cutting blade is out of the way if you're using your stamping trimmer. Give that a good crease. And then the long piece, I need my arm open here, so I'm gonna pull that out. We need this scored at one and three quarters. Three and a half. Five and a quarter. and seven inches. Put the arm back. And we're gonna fold this mountain, valley, mountain, and valley. So see, it kind of looks like a W, right? I don't know who comes up with these names. Let's burnish these though. I'm gonna give them a good crease. And then I like to close it all and just give it another push. So there we go. Next, we wanna cut our designer series paper. So I have a piece of six by six here, and we're gonna cut down to five and a quarter. So I'm just gonna cut off three quarters of an inch. And that will be a scrap. And then we're going to cut these down to one and a half inch. We need four of these or three or two. Depends on what you want to do. If you want to put one on each panel or you can alternate, you know, flip over the designer series paper, use the other side. You can do one with designer series paper, one blank, you know, alternating them. Or you can do three designer series paper and leave the last pan panel blank. 
that. So these are one and a half inch by five and a quarter. And then lastly, I need the inside piece of designer series paper, which measures, measures three and three quarters by five and one quarter. And then you need basic white, which is two and three quarters by two and three quarters, but I'm not going to put that in here now. So I can set this aside. The other thing you can do, like if this piece here is too small to write your message and sign your name, you can always add an additional panel to the back. You can add a basic white, um, and that would measure three and three quarters by five and one quarter. So let's um, put these down. All right, so let's set here these. We'll start with the bigger panel here. We'll put the bigger panel first, and then I will add the side panels and uh, side panels, here we go. So we'll add these panels to the card and these are going on each of these panels. Again, these are one and one half by five and a quarter. So you have many possibilities here. You can do one facing this way, another one facing the other way. You can do them all in a continuous pattern. You can alternate by leaving one of these blank. You can emboss it. Many possibilities. And lastly, I do need to cut two pieces of designer series paper that are two and three quarters by two and three quarter inches. And I need two of those. So let's cut this down to two and three quarters. Take a little off of that. And two and three quarters. And these panels will go on these, this area here. Now, if you've been enjoying these videos, the fun fold, make sure you leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about them. And I hope you share them with your friends, with your other crafting friends. All right, so that's done. Now what we want to do is we want to put this piece, this panel, on the inside here. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that this centers up with the middle panel here. Let me zoom in a little bit and see what I'm talking about. So you see where this score line is on the card base? And then you have the score line 
for the um, panel here. So you want to line those up. So what I like to do, there's two ways we do this. You can do it by folding that back, adding your adhesive. And you just need a little bit because you don't want to go over that area. Otherwise it will ooze. And you can use the other score line here as a guide. Then open that panel up. Again, keeping it centered. Place that one down. Let that set for a second. Open that up. And then you'll do the same thing for this panel here. Now if you find that it's easier to use tear and tape or your seal plus or your stamp and seal then that certainly will work as well. There you go. There you go. And you would add your little panel here, the basic white which I've done here. So if you want to take a screenshot of the measurements for this card. I will zoom in for you a bit. I'll take those measurements. I'll zoom back out. So there you go, gang. A W fold, accordion fold, double Z fold, call it what you want, right? So I hope you're enjoying this. Please be sure to give me a thumbs up if you are. Share it with your friends. And if you are enjoying it and you're not a subscriber, I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel. And I upload videos on Tuesdays and Fridays for now. I've been doing regular tutorials on Tuesdays and then on Fridays I do fun folds. And sometimes what I do is I'll do a fun fold on Friday and then actually finish the card on the following Tuesday, which I plan to do with this card because I do want to try something with this panel here, but I don't want to spoil a surprise. So you'll have to come back next Tuesday to see what I'm talking about. Anyway, gang, make the cards. And most importantly, send them out. Cheer someone up. Have a great day. Bye.